Hey, this is the first time it happened to you, eh? <laughs> I, guys know where you melt, but I know I felt you melting there. <laughs> I should like chocolate, I know that. <laughs> Hi, guys. Okay, now, I'm going to tell you the truth on the start. Pain is temporary. And I'm going to illustrate that with a few stories. The first one is going to be very embarrassing. Every time I make a speech here, I usually draw something on the board. But this time it's too graphic. So no pen today. All right. So as I um, I used to live in the Bahamas. Okay. I've been traveling around the world. I lived a few places. I lived in the Bahamas. Oh, that's beautiful. But only for much part of the Caribbean. So when there would be water so blue, you know. I remember I, I never thought there would be water so blue. Except, you know, when I used to have this girlfriend, I used to look at her eyes and I say, wow. <laughs> now when I moved to the Bahamas, I said, wow, the sea is so blue, like her eyes. <laughs> so, so nice, so blue. So uh, another friend, my neighbor, that was both, every night again, we used to go. We, um, every other Sunday, weekend, we go, we do a bit of diving. And this time, for this was my first time, first time. <laughs> first time on the boat, we go diving. And uh, he said, oh, you know, and uh, because I packed everything, I used to live in England, so I didn't have a wetsuit. So he said, oh, don't you wear my wife ones? I said, you look at me, you know, I know your wife is uh, something, but I am something. <laughs> so, no, he said, oh yeah, they forget the white suit, you know. So, we've been diving, and we go look at the sea, beautiful, what a beautiful. And then after a while, it's like a shot going, boom, boom. <laughs> I said, wow, I know why you want me to wear the white suit, because at least if they buy me, you know, they could buy something else. I said, you know, <laughs> forget it, because anyway, I'm black, and the shark is probably looking for something, you know, clean and shiny. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so scared of sharks, she knows every detail about sharks. My wife, you know, when you're scared about something, you know everything about that thing you're scared about. Yeah, I'm correct, I'm sure. But, you know, wait a moment, you know, think about it for a second. You're scared about your boss, you know everything about your boss. What time you arrive at work, so you know you can arrive before him. <laughs> what is he doing at this minute? Because you know that he should be working in case he's going to be here. Okay? So when you're scared about something, like my wife's scared about sharks, she gave me, give me details about this. So I knew that before you go to the sea, don't wear bling blings. You know. So I leave my bling blings on, you know, I have this big chain, you know, big chain. Because I walked in the street like that. So I was like, swimming, I was swimming there, shark going boom. boom. And I'm pretty sure I didn't smile because, you know, I'm black, but when I smile, oh! <laughs> <laughs> you know, when I smile, you know, it's like the last few weeks, you know, last few weeks of school, I was a teacher here, and we had the staff photos. So I'm standing here in a nice on the top one with my nice suit on. I was the only one wearing a suit, I don't know why. And uh, I smile, you know, there's a picture. Out of the picture, you couldn't see my anything. If anybody else, you know. <laughs> Everybody else is the world teachers that they, they eat the British, but you can see that black thing here and it's on TV. You know? <laughs> <laughs> you know, but, but on that day, on that day, when I was in the, uh, under the sea, <laughs> you know, blowing under the sea, there was no mermaid, there was shark going after me and smart. Dead serious. Oh, yeah, it's mine. And then after on the way back up, on the way back up, I think, I felt something kissing me for the first time. <laughs> and I said, oh maybe, you know, I just like, you know. Kiss my and I get on the boat and I look. Ah! A third leg! My hand was so big, it felt like I had a third leg. You know, I could stand like this in the woman. Third leg. I was I've been bitten by a jellyfish. Jellyfish. I was like, my wife didn't tell me about this. She, she was scared about sharks and everything else, but jellyfish, I don't know what to do. And I said to my friend, what should I do? He said, uh, well, uh, I don't know. I said, what do you mean, you know, 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 and everybody's looking at me, but there wasn't the people diving there. I don't know why they're looking at me because, you know, I was like big, you know, buffy guy, you know, crying like a woman. Ah! Crying. Or maybe they're watching me because, wow, this guy got three legs. <laughs> you know? So, so as I, as I, as I, as I keep going, I was like in pain. And he said, and I remember from the movie, I watched one yeah. movie one day, that you know what they, what they, they tell you to do, what they tell you to do when you've been beaten by a jellyfish. I know. The urine will help you. Yeah, the urine. I said, but the urine. I said, I said to my friend, do you, do you, you know, I said, because we all pee in the water. Come on. Um. When you go to the sea, you know, you all pee in the water, especially if you go for a while. You know. And I remember when I was a kid, don't pee in the swimming pool. But in the sea, it's okay. Because if you pee in the swimming pool, there's this whole little color goes around you, and everybody will point at you, ah, I pee in the pool. Eh? <laughs> So I knew, but in the sea there was no one. There was no life guard looking around. So I, I was diving, and I saw the shark. The first time I saw the shark, everything went. <laughs> I was scared. So I said, "Better be light in case I have to swim faster." <laughs> so I said to my friend, "I don't have anything." And I said, "What about you?" He said, "Me too." <laughs> so I was like, "Ah, ah, yeah, I'm doing everything." 
And then there were other people, there were three ladies on the other boat. So I want to see them, you know, because when you're in pain, you could do anything, anything to them. I went to them, I said, do you have some? She looked at me, she looked at me, what that guy, you know, like a crack, you know, I was like a, you know, I was like a you know, drug, you know, drug addict on crack. Do you have some? I need some. <laughs> I said, oh, really, but jellyfish, or some, uh, you know, urine? And they got me like, no. I said, please, please, I'm in pain. And they tried to calm me down, you know, trying to calm me down. And then after a while, I finally eventually found somebody, and I said, you know, I said, what should, how we should do it? I said, I don't know, just do it! I'm in pain, I'm in pain. And I said, you know, it's only been five minutes, but you know, pain is temporary, but five minutes is a long time when you're in pain. And I said to him, I closed my eyes, I didn't want to look, you know. I, <laughs> he said, no, he said, and the guy was like, here, he said, oh, I can't do it, man. I said, no, I go to the toilet, and he'll give you a bullet, I think. And after I just prickle a little bit, oh, so I feel so good. And the next time, he said, no story about pain is temporary. And I find out later on that you shouldn't do this, you know. The pee doesn't matter to you. Don't get peed on. Don't get peed on. Last, night, last time is when I used to play football, and they say that black people are very good to go to, to go because we know how to avoid bullets. We invented the matrix. You know the matrix, the move they go. <laughs> we know how to, to duck for bullets. So when the balls come to you, to me, I know how to which angle to go. So I go stop. And I used to, I'm from Haiti as well. Haiti were very good for voodoo, black magic. So people when I'm in goal, they can score goals against me. You know. So this is why I'm always in goal. But there was this guy. He's called Iron Leg Michael. I don't like Michael, it's fun, is to kick lamp, lamp post, trying to turn the lights off. Oh. That's how it goes, you know. In the neighborhood, every night you boom! And we say, oh, it's Iron Lake Michael. But Iron Lake Michael's coming, he's trying to score a goal against me. So I'm like, here, I see the ball, I'm about to jump to his feet. And I could, I could feel at that moment that everybody was stopped. Because everybody trying to tell me, no, don't go! It's Iron Lake Michael! You know, I go to Iron Lake Michael, and boom, my nose would bam! You know, last time I had three legs, this time I had two bombs. One, two, three, and I was like in pain. And my shirt turned red like today. Ooh, up, up, all over. But eventually the next day, I recovered. And guess what? The following season, I was in goal for my team, number one MVP. So I'm telling you, don't give up to pain. Pain is temporary. Back to you.